today I'm going to take some beach gold, I'm going to add it to some LA beach sand, and I'm going to run it through the shaker table, and then measure what we get back through the whole process. Alex Middleton from Michigan sent me this incredibly beautiful gold, 90 milligrams, and he extracted it from the beach somewhere and he's cleaned it exceptionally well. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so beautiful I don't really want to use it, but um, you know, that's why he sent it to me. So I'm going to weigh this out first and let's start from there. Let's get a little bit of gold in here. 50 milligrams. All right, so get a little close-up view of it. It's incredibly beautiful you know, by eye, believe me. Now I've got my close-up lens attachment and we can take a better look. Pretty flat. Typical from the beach, rounded. Now I've got a scale on there. Each, the, the uh, center to center distance is 250 microns. So these particles I'm guessing are uh, 150 micron average diameter, plus or minus. So they're not especially small, and, uh, but they're not especially large either. So it's a nice um, intermediate size gold particle. Yeah, so I've got the uh, shaker table. This is the bump sluice shaker, the newest version, which I like very much. Okay, with the bubble level on the uh, iPhone, it's dead flat this way, and it's got a 3.1 degree slope um, downward that way. Okay, so I got one and a half kilograms of uh, black LA beach sand, and there's no gold in here. There's the beautiful gold, 50 milligrams, and I'm going to add it to there. Kind of sad to mix it all back up in there, but what are you going to do? You know, there it is. It's still sitting on the surface anyway. Now I kind of Having run this a bit, I have a feeling for how I want it to run and look. I'm going to run a little bit of sand through it uh, without gold first to, you know, to get it tuned up. What I'm trying to do is to get the water flow rate and slope of the table right. I can tell already that the water flow is uh, inadequate. You can see most of the, a lot of the material is going that way, so I'm not getting very good separation. So I can increase the slope of the table or I can increase the water flow. And we'll just let that run. That's looking better. I've added more tilt to the table. I didn't measure it yet, but so I'm gonna set it up the way I want this to operate and then I'll measure the tilt in the table. So I'm running eight and a half volts on the uh, pump and 37% amplitude. And whatever tilt the, that table has now. It's got quite a bit of tilt, I can tell. I'm probably running it up close to four degrees. Now the olivine is all being dumped into the tailings, which is what I want. 
and I now I only have the fine black sand making it into the consport. So that's higher water flow. I got nine volts on the pump now, and I like that. I've got this kind of line that I always see when the table's operating correctly. I see a mo the majority of the material just being dumped that I don't want, and only the finest black sand and gold going into there. Now before I forget, <clears throat> I'm going to add some jet dry. Okay, we got jet dry on the table. I've got jet dry in here. It's a little bit wet. One and a half kilograms dry material. And uh, I'll see how long it takes to run it. I run it basically a tablespoon at a time onto the table. It's 10.35.30. By the way, the entire consumption of the table plus the pump is only 24 watts. So my 300 watt hour battery would last for at least 10 hours. So it's 38.50, so I'm running a half a kilogram per minute, or 30 kilograms per hour through the table. So I see a huge cascade of gold particles coming down here. I don't know if that's obvious in the video or not. Okay, now this is quite interesting. I just turned off the motion of the table so this is easier to see, but there's a bunch of the gold that's sitting in the um, collection port of the concentrate. So what I have to do now is to just, I'll squirt those down and wash that out with a little bit of water. Okay, so there's what we got from 1.5 kilograms of very black LA beach sand. So there's not much left. All right, so I got it in a beaker and it's uh, 32 grams wet. So maybe 30, 29, 28 grams dry out of uh, uh, 1,500 grams. So, what's that? If it were, it's like a 2%. So it's um, 50 to 1 separation ratio. So here it is in the pan. Well, let's pan that down a little bit. See what we can make out of this. So there's the gold. I'm in the sunshine, unfortunately. Let's see if I can get out of there. There's the gold. It's all dry. And uh, let's get it weighed up. All right. So I recovered 47 milligrams out of the 50 that I started with. Not bad. There's a little bit of black sand in there. So you might dock a percent or two off of that. So I'd say round trip recovery was 90 percent and that includes me panning it out and my panning skills aren't um, you know very good mm -hmm.